It's wild out here the Palladium. Us, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, um, it's curated, it's flipped. Flipped, if there you, you know. might say. What is it, 42 years yeah. since Flippers was back in this venue for this kind of a party. What does it mean for you to be a part of that kind of legacy, that kind of trip down memory lane? History. Well, legacy represents legacy. Or then they say legacy recognizes legacy. You know? I know, that's right. No, exactly. but the reality is um, something that happened that really brought people together is exactly what you see out there once again in 1979. I mean, I was one year old, right? Right. right. But there were there were there were things and, and, and ways of partying and having a good time that represented style, represented a lifestyle, represented a culture that tied music, fashion, fashion, music, you know, uh, for Grace, movies and style, yeah, all, all of those deal. things together, man. So I'm happy to be able to to do it here. We did a, a successful had a successful launch at Rockefeller Center in New, in New York. So now in Los Angeles, why not have another landmark? You know, opportunity to be able to to just stretch our wings and just and just bring it back. Now, eventually, we're gonna have an entire place here. I'm not certain if it's gonna be here at the Palladium. Oh, I'd word. Like for it to be right now. You gonna do a rink? I would. Yeah, absolutely. In L. A. I would love to do rinks all over the world. Yes. Yeah, That's not true. just. Yeah, this. I've been. That, those are the words I was hoping you would say. Yeah, man. Is that we that there would be a dedicated space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A home, so to speak. And a host of products to go with it. Rather, it's come you know, on. You know, the lifestyle. When, when you think about skating, it's not just rolling in the music. Right. It's also to what you wear. It's right. It's the feel. wheel. It's the color of the yeah. wheels. It's the smoothness. Yeah. It's how high up the ankle is the boot going to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell me, because I, I know that there might be some people who are surprised by the fact that skating has been a part or a culture that you have been a part of for some time. Yeah. Where did you first find it? How did you first find your love of the skate? I mean, in Atlanta, you know, there's a very specific style. But if I go all the way back to Chattanooga, Tennessee, okay, uh, where I was raised as a kid, um, my first time ever putting on skates was there. And um, were you immediately good at it? Because I, I need to know from no, my own. Nobody is you, immediately good, and even if they say they do, they they lying. They're That's lying. Okay, okay. So I too am not immediately good at it. Yeah, but I mean, hey, listen, you. <laughs> oh, he's saying yeah. I, I can't judge. I can't judge. I haven't, even, I haven't seen you roll yet. You know what I'm saying? But well, we, we, we roll see. to fall to get back up. Oh yeah. love, but you live. You yeah, live to right. fight another day. That's right. That's right. So it, it goes all the way back to Tennessee for you. Yeah. When did you dis when did you decide you were going to incorporate it back into your show? I know that it was a part of the original Vegas residency. Yeah. Then part two of the residency, it became a much much bigger part. Yeah. When was the when did the choice happen for you? Somewhere during the pandemic, I had this bright idea to just go back to having fun. Mm -hmm. And and that's what this is. I want to offer the same thing to people who come here to dance and listen to music, have a few drinks, and just just chill out, or either get on skates and have a good time. You know. Again, you might fall down, but you get back up. Now, but you have fun. But you do have fun. You kind of go back to your childhood a little bit if you did this, you know. Would you say that there is a pressure or an encouragement? How would you say? It is pressure or encouragement for one, if they come to one of these parties, to get on skates and get out there and try it? No pressure, more or less um, anticipation Ooh. and desire looking at other people having a good time. It is. Go out there. Yeah. It, it, especially when you see somebody smooth. Yeah. And if you could get, if you could go from going front way, yeah. The back way? Oh, if you can't back skate, then you don't need to be out on the outlane. You got to go on the insides only. <laughs> There's an entire outlane. I, I ride the outlane. So know? what you're saying is you can't. So if you can't go backwards, you can't. If you can't back skate, you can't be on the out. Yeah, you can't be on side. the outside lane. No, no. But that's where you can grip the side so you no. don't fall. I've been needing that wall to stay up, <laughs> Mr. Raymond. I've been needing that wall. Yeah, I'll be otherwise. I'm down. Yeah. He said, "No, stay on the inside." Again, you get back up though. Okay. Yeah. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but at home, you've got two that are two and under, is that right? Uh, yes, I have four children total. Right, mm -hmm. but two that are two years old yeah. and under. Yeah. It is, please tell me, this is, this is a, a, lo a big debate in our office, mm -hmm. that you sing lullabies at home, that you are the, the rocker to sleep, so to speak. Mm, I'm the reader to sleep. Oh, you read. I'm the reader to sleep. But what I also too do uh, is I have the luxury of Sesame Street. Have you ever seen the ABCs are moving you? ABCs are moving. So you. I've done all kind of music. See, it's not just hip hop, R and B, EDM. I know that's yeah, right. Yeah. Classic nursery rhymes too. The ABCs are moving. Okay, me. wait. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm hit not me with the, hit me with a little bit the of the ABCs. ABCs are moving you. Yeah. Yo, yo, listen. If you go. <laughs> 
YouTube, Sesame Street, Usher, and it'll come up. This is how I'm famous to my kids. Really? My babies, they look at the screen and they look over and they're like, this, is that, how did you manage to get in the screen and be here at the same time? But no, it's, it's, it's Of all the things you've done, so, that's so not, the so not, so not a lullaby, Dad. I can't, I do love to sing to my kids. Um, it's funny, because when I'm singing, they'll sing back to me. Okay, like what? Like what? When I'm warming up or something like that, I can hear them outside, you know, singing. And Come with, on. Yeah. Is yeah. that not the greatest gift yeah. as a father? Well, maybe they become singers. I don't know. I don't would know. you want that? Or uh, would you would you love that to see them kind of tap into it? I just want them to be happy. It? I want them to be happy. I love it for you, brother. Yeah. I really do. Thank you, man. Okay, now, I cannot let you leave here mm -hmm. without talking about the thing that we have all, we, I mean, people are putting money on it at this yep. point. Yep. You and the Super Bowl. What do we have to do to see you grace that mega stage, that mega platform? Is this something you'd be interested in? I'd be a fool to say no, right? I, but there are people who have said, you know, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I got anything to promote. I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, things line up the way that we would all hope, you know, one day that moment would happen. Yeah. You know, I've had the opportunity to graze the stage before and support right. um, OMG with Will I Am. Of course. But, you know, that, that was one moment. I think I have a, a, a catalog that obviously speaks for itself. Bruh. So to be able to celebrate on that day, it's obviously about football, but everybody really anticipates the performance and, you know, seeing Michael Jackson perform, seeing recently Snoop and Dre and all of them perform, seeing so many incredible performances like Prince, you know, it, it, it has always been uh, kind of a bucket list, right? Really? So yeah, you know, how do I make it happen? I'm, I'm not certain about that. We put it out there right now. We yeah. say right now, it's, it's, we are doing the Super Bowl, baby. We're doing Let's go. the Super Bowl? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I like That's it. how you do it. I like you it. put it out. There's manifestation power, baby. Oh, man. You know better than anybody. That's it, Doc. Okay, listen. Now, this, this, I, I really do appreciate you bringing me out here, but I'm going to say this to you, and I'm going to keep it all the way real. Yep. The last time I did this flippers thing, I did it with Susan Kalechi Watson. Mm -hmm. I used <laughs> a walker. It looked like a walker. Yeah. Don't, don't laugh. Don't bring that walker out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna bring the walk around. It's, too, it's not cool inside. You got indoors. YG out there. Exactly. You got Snoop Dogg out there. Exactly. My boy Brian just uh, killed it on the ones and twos out there. There's no way I'm bringing the walker. Yeah, but I can man. stay on. Bryson my Tiller out there. I don't think he want to see you on a walker, bro. No. Wow. <laughs> Jazzy no, out there bro. now, man. You gonna roast me right now? <laughs> so sweetie walked past. She was like, whatever. I was like, ha. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I need a I need a go to move. I need a signature move on the skate. I can't do the backward thing, so I can't look that cool. But I need something that if you didn't see my feet, so when we get out there, I just need you to help me. So here here it is. This is the key to being a great skater. Okay. Look cool. Look cool. Yeah. So I'm just saying. I have to take my glasses off for this. So I'm just saying. It's all in your face. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you can't really skate, as long as you just look cool. Look cool. Look cool and you will be. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but then all of a sudden you didn't move. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That's your Raymond. <laughs> I just say that every time. Every time, every time I feel unstable, I'm going to just say your first and last name. I'm gonna just, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. But the man, I think that is, oh, no. I, I'm, before I let you go, right. new single, Glue, yep. yeah. dropped. Yes. People went bananas over it. For Valentine's Day, I you know, obviously put something out, and then now, it's gone and, and you know a whole new life. People, yeah, they're starting to feel the, you know, the, the rumblings and the conversations around an album coming. You see, you knew yeah. where I was going. It's, it's, coming. it's coming. Yeah, yeah. It's whole, coming. A whole album. An entire album. Yeah. Okay. I like to create a body of work, not just a song, but that was specifically, you know, around around, you know, one. I had a few performances coming up where I know I'd have the opportunity to perform it, but it was really dedicated to Valentine's Day. You know, every Valentine's Day I've always chosen to do something. I've released records before, but this year I wanted to just, I felt like this was a perfect song for the moment, yeah. Bruh, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. A new album, right, Super Bowl. Yes, Let's get it, baby. Come on, no. <laughs> Put the word out there, it's gonna come true, that's right. No, that's how you do it. That's uh -huh. how you say, we're doing the Super Bowl. Come on, let them know, let them know. We're doing the Super Bowl. When it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I said, to be clear, you're not about to get me caught up in no mess, brother man.